Hello everybody, happy Thanksgiving. Uh, this is Maria from BFAB BU. Um, well, it's probably time that you're having dinner with your family and friends, or just about that time. Uh, but I'm still here and I'm gonna continue to do my 30 day challenge. Today is day four. And today I'm not gonna talk necessarily about sugar since um, likely most of you are eating lots of desserts, potentially eating a little bit more than what your body needs, but no judgment, okay? It's, uh, it's a different day um, and uh, we all know it happens. But today I would like to talk about actually healthy fats and specifically about omega-3 fatty acids and specifically about one product or one food and that food is called chia seeds. Chia seeds are amazing and I eat them almost every day. Well, sometimes. Uh, I want to say every week uh, or almost every week I have some chia in my meal or my smoothie or something. And uh, I have a package over here so it show. I know it's uh, upside down or whatever, but hopefully you can read chia seeds. This is organic. I buy at Costco. Uh, very affordable at Costco for this big package. And what is chia all about? Well, chia seeds is rich in omega-3 fatty acids, which is an anti-inflammatory fatty acid. So it really helps to minimize the inflammation in the body compared to omega-6, which is also necessary for the body, but is inflammatory. So it's important that we have a balance uh, between omega-6 and 3. Um, unfortunately, the average American has a, a, a you know a ratio of 20 to 1 of omega-6 to 3 and that kind of uh, that's not very healthy that leads to you know chronic diseases obviously inflammation in the body and you know about 80 90 percent of diseases out there are caused by inflammation so whatever we can do to add more you know omega-3s to our diet great so I like the chia seeds now I do what is called the chia gel and I'm going to show it to you Okay, uh, hopefully you can see here, and there's a consistent of a gel, you can see it. Well, there is more stuff in here. I make this like a call, a chia porridge, and I added over here a little bit of raisins. I chopped the raisins. I had some coconut flakes. No, coconut, um, uh, yeah, coconut flakes. I added actually some protein powder, and I added some other uh, uh, herbs, okay, in forms of powder. And I think that's what I did in this one. I have a, a recipe on my website, bfabbu.com. Go into the blog and you will find it. Uh, so anyway, um, I would like, in, oh, by the way, omega um, chia seeds is uh, high in omega-3 fatty acids. It uh, has uh, fiber, has some protein. And it's a wonderful food. So, you know, if you make this well, this porridge over here, you can have like a, a nice bowl and it's going to be having, especially if you put protein powder in it, uh, you know, it's going to have, you know, protein, fats, and carbs. And you can add some more fruit if you want to. And if you really have a sweet tooth but don't want to increase on the uh, sugar, right, you can put maybe, uh, you know, two or three drops of um, stevia liquid. Um, and that will not impact your blood sugar much, okay? So anyway, stay cool. Have a wonderful time with your family. And uh, again, try to make a conscious movement towards adding more omega-3 fatty acids. And you can always Google what omega-3 fatty acids are. Or you can actually leave a note and ask me and I'll answer any questions you have. And in the meantime, there is a Thanksgiving bundle special that I'm doing. You can go to bfabu.com slash bundle-2017 for a great program that I'm launching in, Fe in January 9th. So it's, um, check it out. It's good until the promotion is good until Monday. Okay. Take care and happy Thanksgiving again. Love to you. Bye.